Laudetur Jesus Christus. Praised be Jesus Christ and a most warm welcome to all of you joining us this live broadcast. Coming to you from Budapest where Pope Francis is on his 41st apostolic journey. This is his second day here in Hungary and Pope Francis will soon be meeting with Children Care Institute for the Blind and for Children with Special Needs. From wherever you're joining us, a warm welcome to you. Some of you we know joining through our own Vatican Media channels. Others picking us up through television, some of you tuning in through Catholic TV at Madarshan TV, Catholic Faith Network, Shalom World Television Networks, EWTN, Uganda Catholic Television, Salt and Light Media, Shalom TV, and Sunday Shalom. And we have radio listeners out there as well, some of us tuning in through Luminous Radio and through other shortwave, some picking up our shortwave, uh, shortwaves and others picking up picking us up through the local diocesan and other local radio channels and we know still others are picking us up through other internet platforms. We're now inside the school where these children have been eagerly awaiting the Holy Father who arrived yesterday and was welcomed at the airport and uh, met with the President and the Prime Minister Prime Minister of Hungary in Shandor Palace. He left these words in the uh, the book of honor. I come as a pilgrim and friend to Hungary, a country rich in history and culture. From Budapest, the city of bridges and saints, I think of the whole of Europe and pray that united and in solidarity, it may also be in our day, a home of peace and a prophecy of welcome. And then he also met with government and civil leaders and with the bishops, priests, deacons, consecrated persons, seminarians, and others working in the church in St. Stephen's Co-Cathedral. This is the first event for Pope Francis today. He celebrated Mass in private earlier at the Apostolic Nunciature. And later in the morning after this visit, he will be meeting with the poor and the refugees at St. Elizabeth of Hungary Church. And he'll also pay a visit to the members of the Greek Catholic community who also have a large presence here in Hungary. That meeting will take place at Protection of the Mother of God Church. And then in the afternoon, he'll meet with young people, always on Pope Francis' schedule on these trips. And then he'll spend the evening with his Jesuit confreres, also, another meeting that has become customary Pope, for Pope Francis on these trips. Now, a little bit about this institute, uh, Blessed Laszlo Institute, located in the capital's 12th district. It's a multi-story building and is able to accommodate uh, from kin uh, through kindergarten and elementary school children who are visually impaired and those uh, suffering from motor um, disabilities and other uh, children who have special educational needs. And they also have mental health professionals on staff. They have a very modern educational and physiotherapeutic program, as well as equipment, a swimming pool, and also a gymnasium. Our Holy Father should arrive shortly. This is Pope Francis's uh, second visit on Hungarian territory. He is the second Pope to visit Hungary. Pope John Paul II was in Hungary twice. He visited in 1991 and 1996. A little bit of information. It was in Hungary in 1996 that Joaquin Navarro the spokesperson for the Holy See press office, confirmed to journalists that Pope John Paul II was suffering from what he called extra pyramidal syndrome. It was the first time that uh, Pope John Paul II's illness was 
confirmed. Pope Francis himself visited Budapest in 2021, where he participated in the closing mass of the International Eucharistic Congress. Now that was an event international in nature, as Cardinal Erdo said at the time. Cardinal Erdo is the Metropolitan Archbishop of uh, Budapest. This time, Pope's, uh, Pope Francis's visit is addressed to Hungarians and the local church. His visit is very important due to the fact that it's the closest uh, that he's traveled since to the Ukraine. It's the closest that he'll be to Ukraine since the war began and Hungary, Hungary itself has welcomed more than a million refugees who have fled to Hungary. We know they share a border. Not all of them have, of course, stayed in Hungary. Some of them have moved on. But nonetheless, Hungary has played a very important part in welcoming the refugees fleeing the war in their homeland. This is Pope Francis' second visit this year. He visited the Democratic Republic of the Congo and South Sudan from January 31st to the 5th of February this year. And since becoming Pope, Pope Francis vis has visited an average of six countries a year, just in case you need to know that trivia at any point of your lives. So here we see the children who frequent this school. It was originally called the Institute for the Neediest, now called the Blessed Laszlo Institute, founded 41 years ago in 1982 by Sister Anna Ferrer with the help of Cardinal Laszlo. This nun began the work in a two-room apartment in the basement of a square in Buda on the hilly bank of the Danube. And when they outgrew that two-room apartment, they moved to a larger building, which is the building Pope Francis is visiting today. He has arrived. We are waiting for him. He's most likely speaking with the director and other people who've organized this visit. Now, we will most likely see the Holy Father very, very close in touch uh, with these children since they cannot see. The only way for him to, or them, to know his presence is is uh, by being in physical contact with him. So we do expect him to be very, very close to these children. Holy Father now coming in with his wheelchair. The Institute Choir singing a, an antiphon from Taizé. young man accompanying them on the piano is one of the residents here, completely blind. He's learned to play by ear.
Sanctum Patrem Franciscum, salutamus oratione Franciscus pro Patre. Domine. And in Latin, peace be with you. Ubi dubium fidem, ubi desperatius fem, ubi cadigo lucem, ubi tristitia letitia. Gracias tibi, ago pro confirmando nos in fide, sper. He's been reciting the prayer of Saint Francis in greeting the Holy Father, ending. Thank you for strengthening us in faith, hope, and brotherly love with your visit. Praised be Jesus Christ. And now we will hear a sung rendition of the Hail Mary. soloist performing from her wheelchair. And now we'll have a little girl, also blind, who will accompany a song with a flute.
And now on the program, uh, the children will the, in the choir here will sing a hymn to charity. Now, once again, we'll be accompanied on the piano by one of the residents. He himself is blind, accompanying a song of thanksgiving. Nem 
legyen nékem hegymozgató hitem. Ha szeretet nem él bennem, mit sem használ nekem. Profétájas tegyek csodákat. Ha szeretet nem él bennem, mit sem érek én, mert a szeretet nem múlik el. We've been listening to uh, songs uh, performed by residents here at the Blessed Laszlo Institute, a home for people with visual impairments and other motor disabilities, including a an educational institute K through primary school.
Holy Father here sitting next to the director of the Institute. The founder died in 2021, but since 2016, this Institute has been under the direction of the Hungarian Bishops' Conference. The number of pupils and residents in the Institute now numbers 72, and there are also 72 employees. The director now speaking. És mindenki, aki a műhelyben dolgozik, ennek az ajándéknak az elkészítésében részt vett. Aki nem látja, az is tudjon róla, hogy a Szent Atya számára egy tarisznya készült a Vatikán és Argentina színeiben. We have no text for this, and it, uh, the translator is now translating what is being said for our Holy Father. The person who is speaking is the current director, Mr. Georgi Inotai. Egy olasz nyelvű könyv Fehér Anna nővérről, aki az intézmény alapítója volt. És két levél, egy üzenet lakóinktól, Bráj írással és olaszul. A másik pedig egy vak kisfiú gyógyulás története. És engedje meg Szent Atya, hogy akkor ezt az ajándékot két lakónkkal, tanulónkkal átnyújtsuk önnek. And right now there is an exchange of gifts now taking place. The gifts being brought up here, they are handmade gifts being presented to our Holy Father who also affectionately greets the boy and the girl who have come up and also hands them a gift of his own, a rosary. Now, what we see here is a shoulder bag that's been uh, knit or woven by uh, the students here. The colors blue and white to recall, of course, the colors of the Argentinian soccer team. Also, the, the colors of the Argentinian flag. Now, we have to remember when these children pray the Our Father with the Holy Father in Latin, they've been taking a lot of time to learn this prayer so that they will be able to say it uh, to him or with him in, in the same language. And the gift Our Holy Father will be leaving here is a statue of Our Lady Untire of Knots. We know Our Holy Father particularly devoted to this particular image, which he became familiar with when he lived in Germany. Our Holy Father has been on his feet, now taking his seat again and uh, now moving the microphone toward him. He was not expected to speak. Uh, let's see if he has some words. Thank you to all of you for the welcome and your tenderness. Thank you for your songs and your your gestures. Thank you to the director who wanted to begin this meeting with the prayer of St. Francis.
Quando manca qualcosa, io posso fare qualcosa. It's, it's difficult to, to understand what he said at this moment. He was saying something about asking if something's missing, we ask for it. He's speaking about walking forward in the reality that we're in. And this is pure gospel. I've come to see your reality as it is so you can move forward. It's easy to take um, an airplane or something without touching reality as it is. But this is the evangelical journey. This is the journey or the path to Jesus. And this is what you, Director, wanted to express with the prayer of St. Francis. I thank all of you. All of the, and here the, our father in Latin that they've been waiting to pray with him. Et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed liberanos amala, quia tuum est regnum et potestas et gloria in secula. Amen. E benedita vos, non potenteus, Pater, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. And our Holy Father blessing those here. He had words for the director himself. Uh, was says in an interview recently that he was happy when the Pope chose the name Francis because he himself went to a Franciscan high school and has many ties to Franciscan spirituality. That coming out now as he greeted our Holy Father in the beginning on behalf of the school with the prayer of St. Francis. The director has been working with disabled people and psychiatric patients for 30 years. And he hopes that Pope Francis's visit is a confirmation that uh, the Institute will continue moving forward on the right path, as well as giving a valid witness to faith. He also said in that interview that the children were waiting for the Holy Father like they wait for Christmas and a happy anticipation knowing that the advent would bring them great, great joy. Our Holy Father now on his feet again, but taking once again his wheelchair. How these children here can identify with him in this. The Holy Father should be visiting the entire complex here. He'll also be meeting with members of the staff who have 10 to 12 hour work days and who work in an environment we have to remember where people here, uh, many of them cannot see and many of them are not able to communicate as the rest of us are able to. This facility was also visited in 1986 by Mother Teresa of Calcutta when Hungary was still under communist rule. A few of the staff members here remember that visit 
and some of them actually also worked with the foundress of the school, Sister Anna, and I believe we saw a photo or a, an image of her on the wall uh, during some of the shots here. Going back to the director of the institute, whom we saw, Mr. Georgi Inotai, in that same interview that he held, he said he never imagined that he'd be able to receive the Holy Father in person, being able to, to exchange a moment of intimacy that few out of a, one out of a billion people ever are able to, is what he said, one out of a million. The celebration continues here in the hall, even though our Holy Father has exited the room again with Teze Antiphons, showing the definite Catholic nature of the Institute, where Mass is celebrated several times a week. This institute is one of a kind in Hungary. It houses a preschool, an elementary school, a social service center, a home for children who have lost their families, and a daycare center for the disabled. There's no other institute in the country where these five types of functions are combined under one roof. continue within along with uh, the celebration of Holy Mass here three times a week these children and the adults who are in residence here also uh, receive catechism classes as well as spiritual reflection days our Holy Father now getting into the car that will bring him to his next appointment it's a distance of 10 kilometers to the Church of St. Elizabeth of Hungary and there he will be meeting with uh, poor people that will begin at about 10 15 about an hour from now and so this brings to an end the live broadcast of Pope Francis' visit to the Blessed Laszlo School for the Visually Impaired and Children with Special Education Needs. Our Holy Father saying his few last words of farewell to the director here. I invite you to visit the Vatican News web portal, our Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter accounts, where you will find coverage of all of Pope Francis' events during his apostolic journey to Hungary, as well as a coverage of other Vatican and world news. On behalf of Vatican Media, I'd like to thank our audio technician, Patrizio Ciprari, and Father Johan Pacheco, our audio coordinator, and all the media partners who've made this broadcast possible, especially Catholic TV at Midarshan TV, Catholic Faith Network, Shalom World Television Networks, EWTN, Uganda Catholic Television, Salt and Light Media, Shalom TV, Sunday Shalom, and Luminous Radio. We say farewell to Pope Francis now as he goes to his next stop. Laudetur Jesus Christus. Praised be Jesus Christ.